we want to find the partial sum. Looking at our formula, notice how because we have negative one raised to the power of n, we have an alternating series where when n is even, the term would be positive. When n is odd, the term would be negative. Also notice how the index n goes from n equals zero to n equals 38, and therefore we have a total of 39 terms. So because there are so many terms, we don't want to find all the terms and then find the sum. Let's begin expanding the series, then hopefully we can recognize a pattern to find this partial sum. So when n equals zero, we have negative one to the zero times three times zero, plus when n is one, we have negative one to the first times three times one. When n is two, we have negative one to the second times three times two. When n is three, we have negative one to the third times three times three. Plus when n is four, we have negative one to the fourth times three times four. And of course, this continues. Let's go ahead and find the last two terms of this series, which means n would be equal to 37 and then 38. So when n equals 37, we have negative one to the 37 times three times 37. Plus when n equals 38, we'd have negative one raised to the power of 38 times three times 38. Let's go ahead and simplify. So here we have negative one to the zero, which is one, times this would be zero, which is zero, plus negative one to the first times three is negative three, plus here we have negative one to the second, which is positive one times six, so plus six, plus negative one to the third times nine would be negative nine, plus negative one to the fourth times 12, that's positive 12, plus the last two terms, negative one raised to the power of 37 times three times 37 would be negative 111, plus negative one to the 38th power times three times 38 is positive 114. Now let's analyze the series. We'll notice how the first term is zero, so we can ignore the first term. And then if we pair the terms from here, Notice how we always get the same sum. Negative three plus six is three. Negative nine plus 12 is also three. And this pattern continues. Notice how the last pair, negative 111 plus 114, also gives a sum of three. So by recognizing this pattern, we should be able to find a shortcut to determine this partial sum. Notice how we're just summing threes. So our goal here is to determine how many threes we're summing. Well, we know we have a total of 39 terms, but the first term is zero, so we actually have 38 non-zero terms. So if we pair 38 non-zero terms, that would give us 38 divided by two, or 19 pairs, which means the partial sum is the sum of 19 threes. Well, if we have 19 threes, that's equivalent to 19 times three, which equals 57. So this partial sum is equal to 57. In the next video, we'll look at this series again with a slightly different technique. I hope you found this helpful.